Hey y'all, it's your girl Queen Purse is back on your dome. So today is Ivy Day. Today, thousands of kids across um, the world are gonna find out whether they got into Ivy League 2024. And generally, college decisions have been coming out like within the past few days. So I wanted to make an encouraging video for class of uh, 2024, right? The college class of 2024. Um, whether you got accepted, rejected, or waitlisted, I just wanted to give you guys an encouraging word to get you through this uh, season of your life all right so to start rejection all right rejection is not failure and failure is not catastrophic you have to understand that any of these schools could certainly fill their classes several times over with a different set of highly qualified students, right? So don't allow some random admissions officers to make a decision about you that totally undermines your self-esteem, your self-worth, or even makes you feel depressed. Before Ivy Day, I legit recorded a video kind of like this where I told myself my greatest accomplishment, um, of my amazing personality, of all the wonderful things that I'm going to do to change this world with an acceptance or without an acceptance. Without an acceptance. I literally told myself that like, Persis, like you're amazing and you are not going to be just you're not going to be defined by an acceptance or a rejection. And guys, that really helped me so much. I just wanted to let you guys know that you are amazing. Like whether or not you get into your dream school, you are amazing. Whether or not you got into that school that your parents wanted you to go to or that you thought of like since you were younger, like no matter where you go to, you're still going to leave a mark on this world because you got this far and you're going to go even further. All right. If you got accepted i just want to say congratulations yo like an acceptance is an acceptance a win is a win and don't let anyone undermine that literally last year when i got accepted into princeton university when i went to school people were so jealous they were like digging me they were calling calling me all kind of stuff they were just being so horrible and i just felt so self-conscious self-conscious and like literally what if my friends had to tell me like purses you got into princeton don't let any of these haters ever tell you otherwise like literally like you got to the plate you got that acceptance because of god because of yourself because of your family your friends your support systems all those different factors that help you leave reach that level of success and you should rejoice in that you should celebrate in that like have your party literally my mom got me like cake like and some balloons it was hella cute but like do that for yourself because you deserve to celebrate your win all right wait list so I got waitlisted from Harvard U University before I got accepted, and I legit felt like a second-class citizen. I li literally was like, I literally felt that I was like second place. Like why? Like why couldn't I get in like the first time? Like wait, what was missing? Like what did they see in me? Like trying to like analyze all this kind of stuff. And bro, at the end of the day, like a, lo a lot of us are just so amazing and so wonderful, but they literally don't have enough beds. That just shows you like the class, like the class 2024, like you guys are great. But honestly, like sometimes it just comes down to like, they just did not have enough beds. Like, or maybe that year they wanted to pr prioritize computer science kids because they have a new computer science like um, program or whatever. There are just so many factors outside of your control and you cannot blame yourselves, all right? Again, don't let some random people um, decision about you affect your self-esteem. Next, I want to say that please do not follow clout, okay? Follow what you believe will be the best for you, right? Um, because four years is a long time and you would be surprised by the amount of kids who attend elite universities. Literally, some of my friends like like who go to highly, like, highly selective schools like called me last semester and they were like, Persis, I'm so depressed. I have no friends. Like, I just feel sad. I want to go home. All this kind of stuff. And I was like, so shocked, right? Like, you really want to make sure that you are making the best decision for the next four years. And don't let it make you like fearful, but just make sure that you're not following clout. You're not following where your friends are going. You're not following what statistics say. Say Sorry. You're not following the US news rating. Like, follow what you honestly feel like will be a nurturing environment a space where you can grow a space where you can um be able to have different opportunities resources that you feel like will best prepare pre prepare you for your future right because college is only four years and you have the rest of your life to live god willingly 
And I also wanted to point out that if you guys need to leave some of your friend group chats, if you need to delete social media, um, if you want to keep your admissions results private, like I legit deleted social media. I didn't tell a lot of my friends, sorry. I didn't tell a lot of my friends where I got accepted for like several months because honestly, that was just best for my mental health. And that's why I decided. And like, like, you know, just stick by that. Like, you know, you got to prioritize yourself um, sometimes like that because, you know, you might not want your business out there. You don't want haters like influencing stuff. And you might not even want like to feel envious for people who got accepted into your dream schools like th those are things things to consider as well but anyway i just want to say i am legit proud of every single one of you like at the end of the day i don't care whether you're going to rutgers community college princeton emory swarth like wherever you're going it's a college period do you know how many people around the world that don't get a chance to go to college or don't get an education like literally that is such a win and you should be proud of yourself don't let anyone ever downplay you so i wish you guys happiness success um and god's peace and literally don't be afraid to share with me like some of the people um that i've helped like throughout you know um their senior year like they've literally been sharing news about getting into johns hopkins mount holyoke um vanderbilt like all these schools it just makes me so excited so just share your results with me peace y'all Testify all day. We gon' testify. We gon' testify always.